hello guys. Um, coming back at you, I want to, uh, I guess, expound a little more on uh, why it is that I'm overweight. And I guess my motivation for wanting to, wanting this, to be part of this project. Um, you know, they say that, okay, I can lose weight, you know, you if you've taken years to put on the weight, it takes a lot of years off, blah, blah, blah. But, um, I, I went into it a little bit in one of my other audition tapes. And, uh, you know, just it just started when I was in my early teens. You know, being in the household, living with my mom and my aunt. Um, my mom was working, my aunt was at home watching me and, you know, uh, going through her drug addiction problems. And I, uh, <coughs> me not really having an outlet of anybody to talk to or uh, been able to play any sports, you know, uh, self-medicated, you know, with food, and, you know, over the years, it just got worse, you know, like I said before, you know, I gained about 25 pounds a year, uh, starting at about, between about age 12, 13, up till <clears throat> last maybe four or five years and I've kind of have, have about a 10-15 pound window where I go up and down but um you know it's and I've never been the type of person to say oh well it's so and so's fault or it's you know because of this or that you know I mean ultimately I know it's my choice and I choose to do this or choose to do that but I mean it's, it's just hard man it's so hard cause like just like yesterday had an incident um, cause like I say you know I, I'm pretty much a loner right now and I feel that's best for me cause it's like when I'm by myself you know, I have myself, you know, I'm on YouTube and stuff, and, you know, there's a lot of people that I get inspiration from, you know, but, um, you know, because it's like, my willpower is shot, man, it's nothing, you know, it's just like, I just, um, like, okay, for example, yesterday, well, a friend of my house, you know, it, they, um, uh, Asked me if I could run them to the to the uh, Bojangles to get some chicken. So we went, and uh, you know, chicken was smelling good, man. It's like I, you know, no, I don't need that. No fried foods and fast food or whatnot. But we went in back. I asked him, you know, get a couple piece of chicken and a biscuit. I said, yeah, you know. But uh, it was some, there was some other stuff going on. But ultimately, it was said that you know. Well, if I was serious about doing this show and losing weight, I wouldn't have asked for the chicken. You know, I would have put the chicken back and all that. And I'm like, you know, I already feel guilty about getting the chicken. And then just to have a comment like that, man. I mean, that just made me feel so bad, man. Like, I felt guilty. I felt depressed. I just, you know, and then I just, I still ate it. Man, I felt bad the whole time I ate it, but it's like I couldn't stop. I couldn't. In my mind, I'm like, I'm eating. I'm like, what am I doing? Put it down. And it's like, man, I, you know, anybody can do a workout or, you know, lift some weights or swim in the pool or go walking or biking. And that's the simple stuff, you know. 
I ain't gonna say simple because he be working well, but it's the mental stuff, the psychological stuff, man. That, that's the hard part, man. That's the, you know, when it ain't, when it's just you, and it's you against you, you know. And uh, I, well, I should tell you later, but you know, it's it's hard, man. And that's that's why I want to be on this show, man. I want to be able to to just focus on myself for a while, not do a lot of things to help people and whatnot. And to the point now, because I used to feel guilty about it, but I don't anymore. I feel I should be able to put myself first. Cause, I mean, for one thing, if I ain't no good to me, I ain't no good to nobody else. You know? So I gotta, I gotta love myself enough, man, to say, this is it. This is what I wanna do. This is, this is what I need. I need this. You know, this is not any kind of vanity thing or, you know, me wanting to, get any kind of accolades or anything like that. This is for my health, man. This is my life. You know? Nobody lives this life but me. I can't walk in somebody else's shoes. Some, nobody can walk in mine. You know, I mean, to, I guess to further hit it home, show you what I'm talking about. Let me, let me show you something. See this box right here? passed away about uh, uh, three weeks ago. It's almost a month, almost a month ago. And I mean, she was she was big too. You know, she was tall and she was beautiful, beautiful woman. And she oh, uh, I got a, a picture right now, but. I mean, you know, she had high blood pressure. Oh, um, this, well, yeah, it's just the, the iron right here. She had high blood pressure. She was diabetic. She didn't take care of herself like she should. Man, she passed away. She's 33 years old, and I mean, we had our problems. Everybody does, but uh, we love each other, man. We love each other, and yes, sir, man. And I want. I'm doing this for myself. Also, I'm doing it for her, man. For the life that we were supposed to live. That's what I, the life I want to live. 